Hi, this is Chris from Felt Pals. I do a lot of birds and I used to hate doing their feet. So I went to great lengths to make them, pose them so they their feet wouldn't show. And then I thought, well, that's silly. I'll just learn how to do it. And the only way I could do it was to make myself a jig. Now it was a variation of this one. I sell these um, and it has, a, it has adjustments. So you can do a small foot or a larger foot just by moving the brads closer. And it ensures that every foot comes out the same. So this is, this is a chickadee. This will be a chickadee. Right now it's a pretty scrawny looking chickadee. And it's just a way of doing the feet. There are different ways that you can finish them. I like to paint them. Um, some people like to wrap them in floral wire. You can use, I use regular just 22 to 18 gauge wire, um, dead soft copper wire. You could use floral wire also, that works fine with this. Um, but I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to set it up. So, tip that down. Here's the foot jig. This foot, I already did half of the foot here. So we're just gonna do another one just like that, which is easy to do when you have a jig. I'm gonna put the middle wire about three inches down, right along that middle, that middle wire. I'm gonna hold it tight there, and I'm simply gonna do figure eights around the toes, and then back around that center one. Around the center one, get this last one, and then around the back toe. Now once I have it like this, I can twist the wire up the leg which is nice because then it makes the leg wire a little bit stiffer and a little bit more secure. Okay, so we have it all tuned on there. You can just take your pegs out. And holding it securely right in front of that leg wire, I'm going to twist it in the direction that I had already twisted. Now, the amount of turns you give will determine how long the toe is. Since that this foot's fairly small, I'm going to give it probably five turns each and leave fairly big loops on the toes. You can see how perfectly that middle toe is the longest of the three. Hold it here and we'll turn that back toe. Now if you wanted to wrap it all the way down to the end that's fine. If you wanted to just cut it out flush right there you can do that too. Um, and then you could leave them just the wire, just the twisted wire. Or like I said you could wrap it in the floral wire. But what I like to do is I like to give it claws. So to do that you take your wire cutter and right underneath that loop, in that bottom part of the loop, you cut it off. On all the toes. And back toe. These are some long tail ends here. Just going to give it a little manicure. Trim those off. With larger gauged wire, I wouldn't bother for the 22 gauge, but I was going to use the 18 gauge like with them. Um, where is it? This one's still drying. This is a Blue Jays. And I actually took each toe, put it on an anvil, and with a drilling hammer, flattened it out and then painted the toenails black. And now I've painted this part, it's still still wet. Um, I paint it first with just an acrylic, just the black nails with a basic acrylic paint. And then I put a little clear fingernail polish over it after it dries. And then the next layer, I use the um, 
flexible modeling paste. And it's important to get the flexible because that means that it's not gonna crack. You can bend the toes and move them and the paint's not gonna crack. And I just, this is, comes in white, so if you put a drop of black in it, it turns gray. Or for the blue J to get this nice light yellow color, I put two drops of the yellow, bright yellow, and one drop of the wild rice in there. And I just put it on with, um, with a toothpick. The other thing I wanna show you is how to get it from here to a bird. This isn't going to be a tutorial on how to make a bird, but I do want to show you how to get started. When I first made birds, I did the whole body first and then cut a hole and stuck a leg up inside of it. The legs didn't adhere very good. They, Even if I glued them in, the whole thing was wobbly. So what I like to do is I like to have both legs attached in, in the top, and then by taking your wool, you can integrate it into the sculpture. Get a figure eight around the legs and then wrap it around. And then you can needle felt it until it's very secure and tight. This one I have a nice long top on it, so I'll have the head, I'll incorporate the head into that so I can actually turn the head from side to side. So I hope this makes it easier for you. It sure made it a whole lot easier for me. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you later. Bye.